Hi everyone, today we're going to study how to graph a line. Let us define the standard form of a straight line. A linear equation with two variables has standard form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and A and B are not both zero. Let us have example one. X minus two Y equals four. The A here is the coefficient of X, which is one. The B is the coefficient of Y, that is negative two. The C is the constant on the right, which is four. Let's have another example, x minus 2 equals 0. We can observe here that there is no y variable. Anyway, let us collect the values for a, b, and c. The a is the coefficient of x and that is 1. There is no variable y, it means the value of b is 0. This negative 2 constant can be transposed on the right side and that becomes positive. So the value of c is positive 2. Another example is 3y plus 12 equals 0. In here there is no x variable. It means the value of a is 0. The value of b is 3, which is the coefficient of y. This constant 12 can be transposed on the right side. Of course, the sign must be changed. So the value of c is negative 12. Let us note, any linear equation with two variables ax plus by equal c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a and b are not both zero, always represents a straight line. Let us make another definition about intercepts. We have x intercepts and y intercepts. The x intercept is the point where the graph of a line intersects the x-axis. The y-intercept is the point where the graph of a line intersects the y-axis. These points have the form of ordered pair x, 0 and 0, y respectively. In this figure, the line touches the x-axis at this point, at negative 4, 0. So this is the x-intercept. Also, this line intersects the y-axis at this point, 0, 6, and this is called the y-intercept. Let us learn now how to graph a line. We're going to have two steps. The step one is to find the intercepts. To find the x-intercept, set y equal 0 and determine the corresponding x value. While to find the y-intercept, set x equal 0 and determine the corresponding y value. And the step 2, draw the line connecting the intercepts. Let us have example 1. Draw the line x minus 2y equals 4. Step 1, find the intercepts. 
Let us start with the x-intercept. To get x-intercept, set y equal 0. Let us copy the same problem down here. But instead of copying the y, let us change that by 0. So we have here x minus 2 times 0 equals 4. The 2 times 0 is simply 0. So we have x equals 4. It means our x-intercept has the ordered pair 4, 0. To get y-intercept, we set x equal 0. We copy again the same problem down here. Then we will change the x by 0. So we have now 0 minus 2y equals 4. We can eliminate the 0. And then we will have this negative 2y equals 4. Let us divide this equation by negative 2. So we will have y equals negative 2. Because that is 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. For the y-intercept, it has an ordered pair now of 0, comma, negative 2. Then we will go to step 2. Draw the line connecting the intercepts. Let us draw first our rectangular coordinate system, the x and y axis. On the x axis, let us locate the number 4 that is positive. So it is on the right side of the x axis and it is here. While on the y axis, let us locate the negative 2 and it is down here. It means the point for 0 is there while the point 0, negative 2 is here. And then we will connect the intercepts and this is now our required line. Let's have example 2. Draw the line x minus 2 equals 0. We can observe that there is no variable y. In this case, the step 1 is translate the equation into the form x equals a. It means x will be alone on the left side and the constant will be on the right. The negative 2 shall be transposed on the right, so the sign must be changed. We have now this x equals positive 2. Then step 2, draw a vertical line that will pass through the positive 2. Take note that the equation x equals a has a graph of vertical line that passes through the a that constant on the right side of this equation. So we have now the x and y axis here. Then let us locate the number 2 on the x axis. We will now draw the vertical line that will pass through this positive 2. And this is our final answer. Let us have example 3. Draw the line 3y plus 12 equals 0. In this example, there is no variable x. For our step 1, we will translate the equation into y equals b. It means we will isolate the y with coefficient of 1 on the left side. And this is equal to a constant b. So for 3y plus 12 equals 0, first, let us make this constant be transposed on the right side. From positive 12, it becomes negative 12. We have now 3y equals negative 12. Then we will divide this equation by 3, so that the coefficient of y here becomes 1. On the next line, we have now y equals negative 
4. In step 2, draw a horizontal line that will pass through negative 4. Take note, the equation y equals b has a graph of horizontal line that passes through b, that constant on the right side of this equation. So let us draw our x and y axis. Then let us locate the negative 4 on the y axis. So here it is. After that, we will now draw the horizontal line that will pass through this negative 4. And this is now the line. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.